Before discussing the four cuts, let's talk about how to hold the knife and in which hand to hold it in. You want to hold the knife in your writing hand. Since I'm a righty, it belongs in this guy, while my left hand holds the project with a carving glove. You don't need a carving glove for this hand because these fingers are behind the line of fire. You rest the handle across all four fingers. Gently grip it. Make sure the cutting edge is away from you. I've seen too many people do this. So the blade is away from me. I'm gonna place this thumb in the back somewhere, wherever I feel comfortable. Right around here. Taking this hand, I'm gonna use this thumb to do the work. This is called a push cut. Watch this. I'm using this thumb to push the knife through the wood while I use the right hand to steer the knife. So this thumb is doing all the work while I steer the knife. Right now I'm carving with the grain. This is carving against the grain. You can hear the wood cracking. It's like petting a dog. One way the dog likes to be pet, the other way your hand digs into their, their hair and they don't like that. Same thing. See? Let's go back to carving with the grain. This is called carving across the grain. So again, this is called a push cut and you're using this thumb to push the knife through the wood while this guy steers the knife. The second cut I would like to discuss is the stop cut. What I'm gonna do is take my knife, I'm gonna hold it 90 degrees to the wood. 90 degrees is like this. This is like 45 degrees, this is like 30. So I'm gonna hold it 90 degrees. I'm gonna score the wood, I'm gonna cut into the fibers. Use my thumb, I'm gonna press into the wood. Okay. Or I can just take the knife Gently do that. Gently cut into the wood at a 90 degree angle. Then I'm gonna carve into that stop cut using a push cut. See? That 90 degree cut is stopping my knife from going any further. Let's do a stop cut on the corner. Again, press the knife in. Take the knife, see how I cut the fibers. Take my knife, use a push cut. Gently go into that cut. Now see if it doesn't break all the way. Just go back and repeat it. See? I also want to point out that I'm nibbling at this wood. I'm not taking aggressive cuts. So I'm making a stop cut and then gently carving into that, into that stop cut. The last thing you want to do is do something like this. See how aggressive? You're just going to hurt yourself or damage the carving. The third cut I would like to discuss is the V cut. Now there's two techniques. This is the first technique. Taking your knife, holding it 90 degrees to the wood, 
we're going to make a stop cut. Okay. Now, to the right and the left of the stop cut, we're going to make an angled cut into that stop cut. Make sure that angle is consistent. There you go, there's one. Now I'm going to go to the right. There you go. The second way to do this is not using a stop cut. Watch this. Taking the knife on an angle, push in. Go on the other side now on the same angle. Push in. Okay. Now this stop, this V cut, I'm sorry, this V cut is perfect for wrinkles and on clothing and hair. Perfect example. See, the mustache, the hair, all the wrinkles. That was all done by V cuts. Let's do some more, but this time make some curved V cuts. Take my knife 90 degrees. Taking the knife on an angle. Perfect. Okay. This is the fourth cut. It's called the pairing cut. It's actually my least favorite because I've seen a lot of people get hurt with this cut. So I gotta point out a couple things to you. Notice with this particular cut, the blade is going towards you. That's where people get hurt. So you have to be very careful. And when you're carving, just be aware where your thumb is and how far you close your fist. The great thing about this knife that I'm using is the design. It has a little bump here. And that helps protect your thumb, see? The handle, the handle is touching my thumb before the blade. And the great thing about this cut is it's perfect for rounding things, for rounding your project, I should say. See? See? The handle is making contact with my thumb. Ice cream man's here. I think I'm gonna take a break. Let's take a look at two finished carvings that I've made and how I use these four carving techniques on these pieces. The hair, the mustache, and all the wrinkles on the clothes and the boots were done with V-cuts. Even the zipper area in the back pockets. The push cut. Good example would be the arms on the pants area. The pairing cut around this area. The 
and the stop cut. Take a look at this badge. What I did was I made, I held my knife 90 degrees and I made stop cuts all along the badge. And then I laid the knife flat and I carved up to those stop cuts to pop the chip out. Let's take a look at this guy. I used a paring and push cut to shape this entire carving. I used a stop cut to define the head from the body as well as the eyelids. And I used a V cut around the beak area over here and over here. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a lot. And remember, always wear your carbon glove and your safety glasses. Be safe, everyone. Ice cream time, Mr. Splinters. Awesome, thank you.